So now I want to discuss LoRa's and embeddings. The first thing we want to do is head into the directory that has our Comfy UI and VENV, so virtual environment. We're going to CMD into the top address bar, and we're going to activate our virtual environment. Then we're going to CD into Comfy UI, so change directory into Comfy UI. And then we're going to Python main.py that actually starts up Comfy UI. But before we do, you should get in the habit of just running git pool. So git pool. So git pool is just going to pull any recent changes made by the developer. We're already up to date, but usually you'll see some uh, green plus marks and some red negative marks that let us know the changes that have been made in what files. So now we're going to Python main.py. And that's going to start up Comfy UI. And it's going to give us this link. This link right here is what we want to use to navigate to Comfy UI. Now I want to show you guys a real cool trick. Let's say you had a generation that you felt was really good. You can go to Comfy UI into your outputs folders. And as long as you generated with save image as true, you'll be able to drag and drop these PNGs and it'll actually load the network in with the prompts and all the settings that you had at the time that you generated that image. So this is the image that we're going to be using because I like the way this generation came out. So how do we set up our LoRa's and embeddings? Well, as always, I have my resources folder, which I have everything set up for the project. I'm going to open that on the side for clarity. And I'm going to head into the Comfy UI uh, directory inside the models directory and notice that we have our embeddings folder here and our loros folder so all we're going to do is go into loros and drag our laura in there and we're going to head into our embeddings folder and drag our embeddings now embeddings and loras as always can be downloaded from civet ai or from Hugging Face. I recommend Civit AI. There's a lot of graphics and things, comments, uh, picture examples that allow you to see how things are being used and it's, it's much easier for beginners. So how do we actually use our LoRa's? Well, if we move our checkpoint here, because we're going to put our LoRa right after it, we move our checkpoint over here and we double click. So if I double left click, it brings up this context window. So double left click and LoRa and it brings up the LoRa loader. So we're going to drag our model here into the input model and notice that our model on our checkpoint is going straight to our animate diff loader. So that's where we want to pass out this output to. And you'll notice it disconnected it because now it's being transferred from here to here. So we put it in between pretty much. So we want to do the same thing with our clip, drag our clip output to our clip input and drag our clip output to our clip input. And now we have successfully made a LoRa loader. But it says that our LoRa is undefined even though we know for sure that we have our LoRa's inside the LoRa folder. Well, that doesn't mean we have to restart Comfy UI. We just have to refresh the page. That's all. And now it'll be aware of our LoRa. So we just click on LoRa name and we can click our LoRa's. If you had more LoRa's, you would have a list. So our LoRa has officially been loaded in. And now question, next question is how do we uh, load embeddings? In order to get an embedding loaded in, we're going to write embedding. But notice this is kind of inconvenient. There's like no indication of what embeddings we have available. So we're going to actually download a custom node that makes things a lot easier. So we're going to go to the manager here. We're going to click install custom nodes and we're just going to search in this top box on the right tiny and press search and tiny Terra nodes is going to come up. We're going to install that. And notice as usual, whenever we install something through the manager, it tells us to apply the installed nodes. Make sure you restart Comfy UI. So to restart, we're going to open up the command line where we have it running. We're going to press Control C. 
notice it said stop server and then we're just going to python main.py to run again i pressed up on the keyboard that's why the command came so fast because we had already typed it before all right notice it's installing some things that it's going to need in order to get things running so we'll just let it do its thing all right now that that's finished installing we're going to go back to comfy ui and just refresh our page now when we go to type our embeddings notice it already came up but i'll just show you for clarity we're going to write emb and it's going to bring up the embeddings option so we can click our any one of our two embeddings and it'll pop it right into the window we can uh, also add the other one just for clarity so embedding and now we have two embeddings in so we just learned how to load in our LoRa's and we learned how to load in our embeddings and just because I know at some point somebody will ask yes you can just control copy V have another LoRa and load it right into the LoRa chain so you drag these here and drag these to their appropriate places but we only have one LoRa so we're just going to use one so we have our node network set up all we're going to do is run and see how that affects our prompt very cool so as compared to the original video before adding the embeddings and LoRa's, so this is the original, you'll notice that the shirt is kind of finicky. At one point, it's a collared shirt. At another point, it's just more of a, like a V-neck shirt. See, it's been cleaned up nicely here where for the most part, it's just a collared shirt throughout the whole part. There is a, a little bit of some flickering here and there, but I think it did add in a nice benefit to it. The cars also seem a bit more consistent in their movement. Yeah, so that was Laura's and embeddings. Again, member, tiny Terra nodes. That was the custom node install. Lessons.